Hello guys, welcome back. Um, this is a job that I'll be undertaking and it's an outhouse. It's going to be stables for horses. Um, very nice building. The guy made that clock him by himself. Um, he made a really good job of that clock. Um, it's moulded out of plastic and stonemason's just working there at the, the arch at the front. He's also doing a very tidy job on it. It looks really well. Can't wait that he's finished there. Get a good picture of that there. Um, the woodwork around the front. It's a really good job. Looks really tidy. This job's going to get um, sand cement scratch coat and it's going to be all rubbed up smooth with a step at the bottom. It's going to be stepping it. Not quite a bell cast, just a step and a wee base underneath the step then. And also that retaining wall there that's Holding half the yard up is getting the same. And um, well, that retaining wall was just covered in moss. It's just going to eat all power holes first. As uh, you can't plaster over moss, the plaster will just pop straight right off. Um, it's another weird house that's getting the same. Sand cement coat. Sponged up smooth. The roof's not on it yet, so that will need to be done first. So I don't follow any manholes we're walking about. Um, yeah, that's the back side. I'll come back to that later. Yeah, so just climbing down here, guys. Um, trying not to turn the video and climb down a bit of scaffold at the same time. It's not, not the easiest thing. Um, zooming across here, wanting to get inside here. Show you the scene. Yeah, it's, it's the rafters of the the joist you can see that moss on the wall there and they've just dropped my keys which apparently if you have a lot of keys on your keychain or your key ring means you're getting older then my keys definitely seem to be getting heavier so i must be getting older yep yeah, there's the ceiling guys that's all going to get plasterboarded bonded and skimmed there's going to be really nice features on the ceiling Gonna have nice rounds on it, and where the ceiling meets the wall, I'm gonna put a stop bead and a wee flick on it, and then the walls on the inside are getting scratched and sand cement rendered up, sponge floated, smooth. So it's gonna look really tidy on the inside, and looking forward to getting it all skimmed out and finished off, and try and get this a clip of that job. I'll make another quick run round. And just come around the back side of the building here now. Bit of video editing, um, bit of a jungle here. So it's going to be quite awkward. But we'll probably need to drop that scaffold and work off just trestles and planks. It'll be a lot handier. Um, yeah, there's a lot of wee walls and footy bits to be done and stuff. But we'll get there. Um, some nice wee concrete steps that I've noticed. They're going to look really tidy when it's all plastered out. Like, um, this here we part of the building. It's just gonna be I think where he's gonna store his his oil tanks. But yeah, a couple of walls I have rubbed up and all. I have one just scratched on the left side there and stuff. You can see it's still drying out. Um they're all double coated. That wall ha hadn't finished that wall was there wire still to be tracked in. So I'll just give it a scratch coat. Don't really think you can see it too clearly guys. But um yeah, I'll get back to you all. Well, I have it fully plastered out. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, give me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, thanks, and I'll see you again soon.